Alright YouTube, so in a previous video I promised a couple of users that I would show them how to have their Windows portion of Parallels Desktop running on one monitor and the Mac portion on the other. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set that up. I believe the default setting for Parallels Desktop is coherent, so that's how I have it right now. So the first thing we are going to need to do is we need to go up to Parallels Desktop up here and we need to go to View. See if I can zoom in. I need to. I really need to get a new camera. So we're gonna go to OS window first. Now we need to drag our OS window by clicking the top of it up to our second monitor, just like so. Now all we need to do is we need to go ahead and we need to go hit full screen. This is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So there you go. So now you have. Parallels Desktop on this monitor, running Windows, and you have Mac OS X on your primary display on your laptop or whatever you're using. So now if you just um, quit Parallels Desktop like it is now, uh, and the next time you start it up, Parallels Desktop will start on this monitor, or Windows will start on this monitor. So this monitor is free for your Mac stuff, and that's free for your Windows stuff, and you can even drag stuff back and forth between the two. Oh, see, there's that file that I'm dragging back and forth. That way you aren't, there's no incompatibility by doing this. You also get this little icon up here for viewing all your Mac files on the Windows portion of the hard drive and opening and editing or whatever from Windows. So there is no incompatibility by doing this. It's I find it actually runs smoother than running in coherent coherence or whatever. So I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. And as always, thank you for watching.